So if you are an avid ChatGPT user like myself, or if you have used ChatGPT before, this new update is absolutely game changing. I'm gonna show you in this video in a quick tutorial. Come to ChatGPT, change our model to ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. This right here is a completely new interface to work with ChatGPT with, and it's absolutely mind blowing. It is so awesome. Let's play with it. I just added a PDF here for a very long document. You can see this is Mr. Beast, and his blueprint for creating successful YouTube videos. All right, so I'm gonna say write a blog post with this information broken down. And as you can see, it is prompted with this here. This is a completely new interface for ChatGPT and it is really awesome. Let me show you exactly what is new with it. So one thing I want to focus on is if you see down here, there is this new widget here where it has suggestions for you and it makes it really simple to add changes to our text here. We could then cut this shorter or longer just by dragging this. Let's make this way shorter than it already is. As you can see, it goes in and it edits this line by line. There we go, we have a very broken down blog article based on that massive document we suggested it with. There are some other things we could actually do. We could actually go ahead and change the reading level. Obviously we could go to college, graduate school, all the way down to kindergarten. And then also we could actually have it suggest edits for us. So what you will see is it then highlights here and adds certain comments with ChatGPT to help us make the best possible piece of text here. For this first one, how to succeed at Mr. Beast production. Consider simplifying the title to make it more concise and impactful, such as succeeding at Mr. Beast production. Let's go ahead and apply that change. And then here is another change that it actually suggests. So let's change this. So think of this like Notion mixed with ChatGPT. Notion and ChatGPT had a baby and it's a very interactive and intuitive platform in order to interact with certain text. So it has the models of ChatGPT 4.0, but just the user interface is different and it's way easier to use. Instead of going in and saying, hey, I don't like this piece of text here and writing, can you change this for me? It would have to rewrite the whole thing. Now we could just ask ChatGPT and say, make this better. And it will just edit that line of text. As you can see, spits out a better version. That is amazing. We could then go ahead and have it add final polishes and it will go through and make changes on its own without us even having to prompt it to do that. One other thing that Canvas is amazing at is helping you write code. So it makes writing code even easier with ChatGPT. As a complete beginner, I have no coding experience and I'm gonna show you how I'm able to code an application using ChatGPT 4.0. All right, so write me a checkers application. It is going to take us into the Canvas here. It is now writing the checkers game application. So it spit out this code here in order to write the game for us. What I wanna focus on is coming down here and there are certain things we could do. So we could just automatically have this go through and review our code for us by one simple click of a button. It actually gave us some suggestions here in order to make this code more functional. Let's go ahead and apply these. This is going through and editing each line of code. And I think you could understand the importance of this when you are not a technical person and have no coding experience. The fact that you could use ChatGPT to recode your entire application that you already wrote, do these checks on the code without having any technical knowledge, it's absolutely mind blowing in order to build the best applications using no code at all. Another thing we could do, this part is actually really mind blowing to me. You could actually come in and just automatically change the language of the code. Instead of having this as JavaScript or Python or whatever this is, we could then come and change it. So let's change this to TypeScript and see what it gives us. All right, so there we go. In seconds, we have a new piece of code that is now in TypeScript just by clicking this button here and dragging it. One thing I do want to mention is if you are coding your own applications inside of Canvas, it makes it really simple to actually tie in your other applications using Zapier. So if you don't know what Zapier is, Zapier is an application that allows you to tie in your other application. So essentially we could have something triggered inside of our application that we build in Canvas and then automatically send an email or a message to Slack using Zapier and their easy to use interface if you're somebody that is not technical or does not know how to code. So if you guys wanna sign up with Zapier, there's a link below in the description but it is a great combination with Canvas. Guys, I hope this shows you how awesome ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas is, and this is just a whole new way to interact with ChatGPT and AI. This gets me really excited for the future of where this is going. I love these new AI tools. I love these new AI updates. It seems every day something new mind-blowing is coming out, so if you want more updates like this, go ahead to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.